He stands at 169 centimeters tall and weighing in at 56.3 kilograms, holding a mixed martial arts record of four wins and only one loss. Training out of Bali MMA, representing Indonesia. Stepping into action is Ipitua, the magician Sirigar. And introducing his opponent out of the red corner. He stands at 173 centimeters tall and weighs in at 56.35 kilograms. Training out of the Paralystra Matsudo, representing Japan. Get ready for Senzo Ikeda. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Justin Brown. Athlete center, athlete center. Gentlemen, you both know the rules. Let's keep this clean. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Do not strike in the back of the head. Let's wash the local blows. Touch gloves if you want. Touch gloves, back up. Final back instructions up. from South Carolina's own Justin Brown inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium, the first show of 2022. It's going to be a blockbuster year got you. of one got you. championship action. Got Here we've got a match of got style. Just, Boxer, right. Ikeda, wrestler, Lepitua Sinegar. Veteran experience versus youth. A cagey, unorthodox style of Ikeda. Hands low, but they can shoot up to the chin from all sorts of angles. Yeah, very unorthodox Senzo Ikeda. He's got that low stance, so he doesn't quite utilize his height advantage the way that you would normally expect. He's very elusive. He's hard to get a read on. But Saragar is staying nice and calm and patient, keeping his guard nice and tight. Mitch, when someone is doing this awkward style of moving and grooving and changing stance as, as Ikeda is doing, is it irritating at all? It can be, especially when he starts sticking you. Watch that jab of Senzu Ikeda. If he starts touching him, then that's going to be frustrating. But it's, you know, Elipatua knew this was coming. You know, once I started talking to him about this change in matchup, he really started to understand exactly what was going to be in front of him, and he knew the style that Ikeda was going to bring. My other question is, Dragon, how much video of Prince Nassim do you think Ikeda watches? <laughs> I think he's watched quite a bit, especially these lunging shots. You know, I would like to see Saragar really start mixing things up here. He's got to start testing the takedown because you don't want to stand here and, and trade shots like this with Ikeda. Because Ikeda's got a good boxing style. He's also got good kicks, which we're seeing right now as well. Jab two there from Saragar, trying to test the chin with his own boxing power. Body shot there from Ikeda. Still a filling up process in the opening 90 seconds. Jab two, body shot off the right hand from Ikeda who can switch stance, though he does prefer the orthodox stance. Sirigar fires out a front kick on the outside here. Looks for a double leg. Good defense there from Ikeda. Now they tango, back against the wire. There's that first test of a takedown. Shot in on the double, came up to the body lock. Good defense from Senju Ikeda. It's going to build a lot of Good. his confidence. We're going to start to get a lot more of this swagger start to come out from Senzu Ikeda. Nice little two-punch combination right there thrown by Saragar. Long-reaching jab does have that reach advantage by some four or five centimeters. Ikeda tags him, throws the uppercut. Pick up for a takedown here from Saragar. Not quite how he wanted it, but Ikeda momentarily on the genuflect position. That was a nice hand combination thrown by... Ikeda, but it was a beautiful timed entry onto that takedown by Saragar. Let's see what he can do with it. He need, he wants to stay here. He wants to stay tight and really nullify that boxing style of Ikeda. But, set, but Ikeda is so experienced. He knows exactly what he needs to do in most of these instances to take advantage of the situation. Ikeda told us that Saragar is not on his level. Consider that it could be a Fairly easy win tonight, but nothing's ever easy against Alapatua Sidagar. Sidagar locks onto a single, still trying to take Ikeda down. Ikeda maintaining his vertical stance here. This is what he needs to do. He needs to push this pace with his grappling exchanges. That was beautiful. Caught the leg, turned the head around. 
redirected to put him down and also land inside control. And now the Indonesian wrestling champion is in his territory. This is Siragaville. This is Alapatua World. He's also, in his some corner side too, He's also in his corner. He's got you know, Stefano Hardian in his corner, who is a highly skilled grappler, giving him advice, telling him exactly what he needs to do to keep this position. He wants to slowly advance, do a little bit of damage here, but he cannot lose it because Senzui Keita is going to try to bridge. He's going to try to scramble. You can see these knees from the bottom position thrown by Ikeda. Knees to the head of a ground that opponent, perfectly legal. Under our global mixed martial arts rule set, there's another one, a crack of the chin, one to the top of the cranium, and a gut punching knee from Let's the cater as they break off. Good escape by Ikeda. He's not only squirrely on the feet, he's also got good movement on the ground as well. Hard to hold him down in the position. That's why Saragar needs to be so careful when he gets those positions, he needs to keep them. Nice entry on that single leg. Boom, second leg. Beautifully done from Saragar. There's the power dragon. As I said earlier, this young man can put you through the canvas. That's two beautiful takedowns landed by Saragar. He's trying to crucifix the arm right here. Let's see if he can ride out this position for the final 30 seconds. Next nice back take. Sensui Keta chooses to go back, back down to the floor. That's a smart move on his part. Keta defending the ground, now back to his feet, the boxer. Can he get some distance to work the hands before the siren goes? There's the overhand elbow. That's that movement I was talking about, Ten Michael. Seconds. It's really hard to hold Ikeda down. Let's go. He'll give up bad positions just to try to create a little bit of space and movement. Ikeda, a final flurry. Single leg attempt from Alaba to a And we end the first stanza. Ikeda, the boxer. Sirigar, the wrestler. First half of the opening stanza was Ikeda with the hands. Second half with Siriga on the ground. Nice Let's little go. evasion there from the Indonesian. That was nice. You can see the pressure coming from Ikeda. The march is full. That's how you earn the respect, though. Ella Patua throwing that right hand. Touch Ikeda. Get him on his back foot because he's got to deal with this pressure right here. But also what that pressure does, it enables him to get into the clinch so he can utilize one of those big takedowns, too. Jab two just pulled up the right hand. Did Siriga. Now he's cutting angles. Good inside leg kick high to the thigh. Trying to hit that femoral profunda. Outside leg kick from Ikeda. Nice overhand right to left hook there from Ikeda. Oh, and Ikeda backs him off. Quick on the release there from Senzo Ikeda, the Japanese veteran. Loops the left hand. Throws another left and another from Ikeda. And Siriga the takedown dragon. See, that's that pressure that comes from Ikeda, but in those exchanges, he gets wild with those punches and it leaves him open to these types of takedowns. Nice little front headlock position by Ella Patua. Nice overhand, two off the clinch. Got a bit of Muay Thai on the inside there from Ella Patua. 3.30 remaining, second round of three. Two punch combination from the Indonesian. Has Akita slowed a little here, Dragon, or he's just not doing all the, uh, the Prince of the Seam stuff here in the second round? <laughs> I think the fancy oh, <laughs> Let's go. The fancy footwork isn't really working. It really wasn't, you know, to his benefit to do that. So he kind of threw that out and just applied this pressure in its place. I like the way he's coming hand. forward. There's a solid left hook from Ikeda. I like the way he's coming forward, but I would like to see Ella Patua duck under some of these shots because Ikeda gets wild in these punching exchanges. Ella Patua could sneak underneath, get that double leg, put him on his back again because that's where he's excelling. Two completely different styles and completely different builds. The bean pole of Ikeda and the brick hit house of Siriga take down from the wrestler. Again goes to side control. This dominant position. Right underneath the punches. He waited for Senzo Ikeda to throw that multi-shot combination. Came right underneath. Got the double leg. That's three big takedowns for Ella Patua Saragar. Now he's going to try to keep this position. Over. Tracks it to the top lip of the Japanese athlete. Trying to go knee on belly, I thought, for a moment there. Cuts the hips in now to Siriga. What's he looking for, bitch? That's what the way that I Ikeda needs to go. He needs to turn into Ella Patua because if he goes that way, he's given up his back. And Ella Patua is very good at the back takes. He might just let him go and take the back, but he's choosing to keep him there in that side control position. This is much better control in this exchange. Takes the back. Yep, there it is. Can he flip him out now? 
143 remains, second round. Alapa to Asuraga, knows how to choke people out. He's done it to a Look lot, out. but he came to escape. The kid is hard to hold on to, especially now when we're deep, you know, here in the uh, eighth minute or so, almost nine. It's going to be hard to hold on to Ikeda now that he's sweaty. But El Patur is doing his darn just to try to get below the belt. Yeah, that was, that was low there. You feet? This side, this side. He looks this like it. It's about 10 centimeters the, below the belt. Hey, I heard the red, crack of the cut. Red. Sorry. Need to feet, yeah. Injury time. Look at me. Look at me. Ron, I know. No, Take a second, all right? Injury time here, and there's a cut. Look at the right height, looks like on uh, Senzo Ikeda. Lost a little strike, okay? Be careful with it. Up into a He took one south of the border. Just beating him in, letting him come in like that, just so he can get a hold of it. He's playing very well. Could be Dragon. Sportsmanship there from Ikeda. Hey, guys, ready? Turn around, let's go! An absolute let's gentleman, go. Senzo Ikeda, always. He makes two solid punches, make it three. Next hook right hand right. from Sirigar. Sirigar doing the boxing on the boxer. Sirigar looking dangerous now as he enters <laughs> into the takedown. Michael makes me eat my words, Dragon, about who's doing the more dominance on the feet. Thanks. Keita folding it. That KG stance again. The chin very high and forward. Beautiful. Single Entry. leg from Alapatua. Here comes another one of those big takedowns. Let's see which way he tries to go. Tries to turn that corner. I like to see him elevate here a little bit, but Ikeda's doing a good job of using that left leg as balance and then also using the wall as well. Oh, beautiful dump right there, but Ikeda popped right back up. Chance for the elbows here. Overhand one thrown by Siraga. He breaks off, gets some distance now. And Ikeda find range with the hands. Carrying them at his waist. Got to use those awkward angles that he does possess. Throws a knee, hoping for the headache maker. I like the right hand of Saragar and also that right roundhouse kick too because of the way Ikeda carries his hands so low down around his waist. If Ella Patu can put those punches together and go up top with that head kick, he might find something there. That was the top Warren and the entire team. Oh, good, good. Of let's go three, let's go. Very close eye, part of the pun, on that cut. Third and final round. Jab two to open up from Ikeda. Again, Saragar keeps his guard nice and tight. Right cross got through. Now the reach coming into play from Ikeda, throwing it full extension, drops down for a single to Alapatua. Rams him against the wire. Nice little wizard kick right there from Senzo Ikeda to defend. He has that overhook. Chooses to keep it. Let's see what Saragar can do right here. Uppercut off the break yep. from Senzo Ikeda, parries the front kick. Moving forward, the Japanese. Overhand right was telegraphed. So to the second one. Will he go in triplicate? Cut off the movement. Digs away to the liver. Nicely done. Loops the left hand. No talk of the hips, though. Didn't have the extension on the punch. That's where Senzo is the most dangerous. Look at that body shot. Again, that time it scored nicely to the body. That left, beautiful. Again, he goes to it right there. This is his chance. Saragar seems to be fading slightly here. Has the corner of Senzo Ikeda told him that the chief in the arm of Saragar is the body this round because he's going for the body shots. That's what Ella Patua needed right there. He needed that takedown. Ikeda is struggling to push down on that head to create that space to get those legs out from the arms of Ella Patua Saragar. But Saragar sucks the legs in. Let's see if he triangles them here to secure this position. Three minutes, 20 remaining, third and final round of what has been a back and forth contest between the wrestler in the multicolored trunks, on the white trunks, I should say, the boxer in the multicolored trunks. Senzo's got a giant gas tank still pushing forward. Again, digging to the body. Oh, the liver! He caught oh, it! No, he's hurt! He's hurt! The liver shot! Senzo and Kata knocks out! Ella Pazua with a perfectly placed liver shot. That was beautiful. <laughs> Maybe you were right. Maybe you don't even need your words. He was dangerous. He found his moments in that third. The way he was digging to the body with that left hand, he found it two, three times. But then right there, you can see... Under two minutes in the third and final round for your winner by way of knockout.
He's awkward, he's a little weird, he's unorthodox, he's unassuming, but once again, Senzo Ikeda gets the job done. Boom! Back to the body, and the liver shot finish was just superb. Uppercut there. A little bit rips it in. Almost more to the, more to the spleen, actually. Surigar hurt.